and thank you for watching this video tutorial on OS Forensics by Passmark Software. OS Forensics is a feature-rich, versatile, and robust computer forensic solution used by a wide variety of professionals and organizations worldwide. In today's video, I'm going to briefly demonstrate how you would use OS Forensics to quickly identify the presence of any BitLocker encrypted drives on a live Windows system. This is an incredibly fast scan and starting with version 4 of OS Forensics it is one of the available presets in the system information module. Many of the system information modules presets are going to be your typical triage type of processes meaning you know, these are uh, one of the first modules you would probably run after encountering a live system in order to get all the system specs, hard drive information, memory information, uh, the user account details and much more. With full drive encryption being as prevalent as it is nowadays and especially with the popularity of Microsoft's BitLocker encryption this is definitely a step you want to take when processing a live system. The BitLocker scan will literally take just an instant to launch and get your results. So let's jump right in. We'll take a look at it in action and then I'll go over the results uh, just to make sure you understand the information that's being presented to you. So here is a look at the start screen after launching OS Forensics. So we'll assume that I was out in the field, I've encountered this running machine, I've gone ahead and inserted my OS Forensics USB drive, and I've launched the OS Forensics application. Now I could uh, create a case at this point, uh, if I wanted to, just to start an audit trail on my actions, which I would typically always recommend you do. It's a good habit to get into. Uh, but we also recognize there are going to be some situations and you know, some of our users, especially maybe those in uh, different military type of situations or activities that need to just get in and get out with as uh, much information as you can and as quickly as you can. And so in those instances, you could definitely just move straight into launching some of the features and start acquiring evidence with the tool. So let's go ahead and assume that I've, I have created a case and uh, you can learn all about how to create a case in a different video and uh, so uh, at this point I'm ready to start processing this machine that I've encountered. So to check the system for the presence of any BitLocker encrypted drives I'm going to want to click on and open the system information module that is located right here in the lower section uh, or just you know past halfway of the OS Forensics workflow. Now this OS Forensics workflow is what we call or as we call it is completely customizable um, which we cover in another vehicle in full detail but just keep in mind you can edit this workflow you can rearrange or, or even remove any of these modules simply through a right click option uh, as I'm displaying right here. Okay, so back to the BitLocker identification. So we will open up the system information module as I've done, and now we'll need to find the BitLocker detection preset, uh, which you will find in this drop down box here. And there we go, there's the BitLocker detection. You'll just simply click on it once to select it, and that's all you need to do uh, really before just clicking go uh, to launch the scan. So before you do, you'll want to make sure the uh, proper device is selected, which should be set to, uh, which mine is, to the live acquisition of current machine. Uh, so if you're processing a live drive and running OSB, or I'm, excuse me, if in running OS Forensics from your USB device, uh, OS Forensics by default is going to assume you're, you're performing some sort of a live analysis, some sort of uh, triage on a live system and is going to assume uh, you're, you're, you know, you're processing that current machine. Uh, if for some reason though you still want to just double check and make sure that somehow you didn't click over on a different drive or, or something uh, before executing that command. So once you have verified that the live acquisition of current machine is selected, 
you can go ahead and click go and just sit back and wait for your results and as you will see uh, once you select go OS forensics will begin the search for the entire system for any BitLocker encrypted drives and uh, basically just immediately return the, the results of that search please keep in mind too that this uh, feature and these results will include any and all external hard drives or even removable USB thumb drives that have been encrypted with a different version of BitLocker called uh, BitLocker to go which is an encryption method it uses particularly for USB devices so you not only will you get you know uh, alerted to drives with full BitLocker uh, drive encryption the the typical process there but you'll also be notified about any removable type of drives that may be uh, connected to that machine too and that are encrypted using uh, like the BitLocker to go encryption so at this point as you uh, as I'm sitting here scrolling you know you can start reviewing the results and you'll see all the drives presented in this list and they will show whether or not they've been encrypted with BitLocker so as we can see here you know we, we've got uh, uh, it, and there is a few different ways that you can just quickly kind of ascertain if something is has BitLocker uh, or not so looking at the BitLocker version seeing that there is none reported uh, I can see that uh, percent encrypted is 0.0 percent lock status is unlocked all these were going to definitely give me um, the, the the cue that this is not you know that volume F is not encrypted and I won't have to worry about that uh, or at least it's not you know encrypted with BitLocker uh, so moving on down we see our volume E now I do see something right off the bat which is uh, BitLocker version 2.0 I see so now that I see that there is a version reported that's going to give me an automatic sign that hey there is BitLocker encryption on this drive also um, once you start using this some um, you'll also notice right off the bat too that the unknown size uh, it's not being reported just because that is I know that it's currently in a locked state as you can see here further on down where it's reported that the lock status that this drive volume E is BitLocker encrypted and uh, it is currently locked and uh, inaccessible really to, to anything at this point without having that decryption key uh, so moving on down again we can see we got volume G we've got a size but again I see BitLocker version none so just like I said a minute ago when you see none for the version uh, especially on top of 0.0, .0 for percent encrypted uh, all these we know again that this is not a BitLocker encrypted drive uh, we won't have to worry about that volume volume D here we see again oh, we've got a BitLocker version we've got the encryption method used by the BitLocker uh, AES128 uh, where I can see that this is locked so again we've got a locked status um, drive here now there is not any currently unlocked drives here but if this would be in uh, a BitLocker that you could see that had uh, or a drive that had a BitLocker encryption enabled uh, we would see that uh, the percent encrypted would show 100 percent just meaning that the data is encrypted but I would I would see that it would show in an unlocked status so a lot of times uh, and if you do encounter that that is when you want to go in and we want to get that data we want to go in and grab that process that drive while you have access to it while it's in an unlocked state so let me go unlock one of these BitLocker drives we'll redo the scan and uh, we'll show you an example of that alright so now I have unlocked one of those two uh, locked BitLocker drives that we just saw and now I've relaunched OS Forensics and we're going to go back do the uh, BitLocker detection scan one more time and then see the difference in how an unlocked BitLocker encrypted drive looks like compared to a lockdown encrypted uh, drive 
and so we'll go ahead and check that BitLocker detection preset and hit go and our scan is complete now when we get down to the, let's see uh, volume D now now this time we see that the BitLocker version 2.0 so we do know there's BitLocker enabled here on this particular volume we see the encryption method it's used the, the version number again the, the drive is fully encrypted uh, the protection status is on however it is currently in an unlocked state meaning that we can see that data so you would definitely want to go out uh, finish your triage process but you know maybe go out do a logical extraction of everything on that drive maybe um, you know grab whatever it is that may be of relevance to your case on that while you do have um, access to that device for sure And that's really all there is to it. So, you know, trying to go out and just doing a quick uh, scan of a system, of a live system, just to see if there's any worry or concern that any of the drives or attachments uh, are BitLocker encrypted, uh, takes you what? You know, a matter of just a couple seconds to launch the tool, uh, choose your, you know, open the system information module, select the BitLocker detection, and hit go and it's uh, almost an immediate results uh, the skin is uh, complete in just literally a second or two and uh, y you can be assured of whether uh, or not you need to uh, deal with any sort of uh, bitlocker encryption at that point and uh, you know much like many of the features built into OS Forensics this is just one that is very simple it's very fast and most of all it's very effective uh, definitely something you're going to want to include in your triage or live analysis processes going forward. Thanks again for watching this video tutorial on OS Forensics by Passmark Software. For more information on OS Forensics or any of our many products, feel free to reach out to us by email at info at passmark.com or visit us on the web anytime at www.osforensics.com.